Well, this particular design means um, a lot from a KHI standpoint. And when I say KHI, we've been fortunate to have a lot of loyal partners throughout the years that are still with us today. Uh, Ream is, is one of those partners. And this particular helmet I wore in our 2010 first win for Ream. And at that particular time in the Xfinity series, winning races was kind of hit or miss for us. And, and Ream was always behind us, um, Ream and um, you know everybody that, that has worked at Ream, a lot of those people are still the same. And here today, while, while the, the program has transitioned into Cup. So uh, going back to the KHI days and seeing this particular helmet and knowing the, the, the work and dedication and time that we put in, not only finding the sponsors, maintaining the sponsors and relationships, uh, working hard to make the race cars go fast, and then I, I got to be the owner driver myself and experience the ups and down, um, you know, of, of the, the good days and bad days. And, and, you know, I think that the probably, one of the more famous stories is, I think I fired the whole pit crew on this particular day because we had a bad pit stop and then we came back and, and uh, won the race. So that was in a previous lifetime and um, my, my pit crew rants, but uh, they were good back in these days. Um, how did KHI get started? KHI started really in 2001. We built our first truck. We went to Richmond and ran our first race and lost by about a foot to Jack Sprague. And that was really the first time that, that um, I felt like you know we'd built a truck that was capable of winning a race that I had been able to, to sit in. So for, for me, winning a truck race was a big deal because I hadn't done that before. And, and really, the truck racing was kind of where I worked my way through the ranks uh, at Spears and the 98 truck and, and on into owning my own truck. So um, we kind of dabbled uh, with, with our own trucks from 2001 until we started the truck team full time uh, when, when Chevrolet came to us and, and said, hey, Toyota's coming into the sport. Uh, we, we, want, we need more Chevrolet trucks on the racetrack. And for us, that, that was why our truck team started, was um, kind of a defense to Toyota coming into the series. Well, I have a lot of favorite KHI memories. For, for, for the time that we ran KHI, it was really Delaney and I's baby. And, and really without KHI, many of our sponsor relationships, personnel, um, and, and I guess our reputation in the garage was, was really, a lot of that was built around KHI from a business standpoint. And our reputation from the business side of things was always very good from the sponsorship side and, and managing and maintaining the sponsorship. So I always, I always take pride in, in that side of KHI because of the fact that even, even today after we shut the teams down, you hear so many stories about employees and people coming up to you and talking about uh, how great the days were in KHI because, you know, it wasn't, there probably wasn't, weren't too many days that, that went by that we didn't have a practical joke or uh, something happened in, inside the shop. So, you know, you, you might be um, the one that, that wound up with your car full of bouncy balls, um, your car sitting on jack stands with no wheels on it, your car full of automatic transmission fluid with smoke, or you might lose your hubcaps on the way home. You never, you never knew what was happening. So it was a very, uh, we were very, very much a part of um, the everyday process of, of what happened at KHI and the employees and developed a lot of great great relationships through the years. Do you remember anything particular about your Las Vegas win besides Martin Finger? <laughs> so Las Vegas was, was, was always a racetrack that our cars ran really good and it always seemed like one thing or another always, always, um, always happened. So um, on this day we had to come from behind and we had to make up spots, but you know we had we had the we had the dominant car and, and were able to uh, put ourselves in position to, uh, to to come back and win. So it was uh, it was always always interesting, but our, our Xfinity cars were always fast here. Well, my favorite part about Ream is the consistency that they have throughout their company, and many of the many of the same people um, that are in charge of, of the racing program. And and the great part about Ream is 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 the fact that 
they believe in our sport. They believe in the hospitality side of it, side of it and entertaining their customers and, and you know, are competitive and, and want to come to the come to the racetrack and win. So um, Reem, Reem, Reem has always been a very interactive company that, that worked with the race teams and, and are, were a part of uh, part of the, the everyday everyday process. So it's always fun to go back and think about where we started with the racing program to where they are today and, and everything that they do. So it's, it's done well. When you, what was it like being a driver owner? Was there a different pressure or expectation you put on yourself or felt? Yeah. Well, I think, I think for, for me, the, the driver owner expectation was always greater than the responsibility of, of just being the driver. But for, for me, when I, whatever car I sat in, that was my responsibility as a driver and, and when I sat in my own cars the responsibility was hey we need to we need to go out and, and do things at a high level from all aspects whether it was me driving or the crew chief calling the race or the spotter calling the race or the pit crew changing the tires and and that role could could reverse and and for, for me I think that probably the best example that I can give you uh, of the roles reversing were 2007 Montreal I shoved two of my own cars out of the way to, and, and wound up winning the race and my wife and, and the rest of them wouldn't talk to me and I had two crashed race cars but the driver's side of me was really happy because I still have the Montreal Trophy at home. So, um, But the, the co-owner of KHI was not too happy because she had two wrecked cars and no trophy.